unfortunately, this is something that American Muslims expect uh, from Donald Trump uh, and from his base. But of course, the office of the presidency is greater um, than Donald Trump. Why would he take someone who's like an anomaly in our community, whose actions are rejected by the mainstream Muslim community, and then present that as the norm? Uh, that's extremely problematic. On the other end, uh, when he makes concessions for white supremacists, when he makes concessions for far-right evangelicals who preach hatred, uh, we again have to ask ourselves, is this person fit to lead the United States of America and, and to really lead a country which is really diverse uh, and extremely um, pluralistic at, at its current history? Uh, the 19th chapter of the Qur'an is called Mary. Mary is mentioned more in the Qur'an than Muhammad. We are told in the Qur'an not to insult other people's gods. Uh, obviously, President Trump um, goes with his gut, goes with what he's fed by certain people. Um, and, and this is a dangerous cocktail. I unfortunately expect there to be acts of violence directed towards the Muslim community in ways that may be very catastrophic. You know, most of the mosques that I'm traveling to now in America have a policeman out front or a security guard. That was something that we didn't see under the previous administration or, or under Bush, uh, under Clinton. Um, there, there are reactions now within the Muslim community that they are feeling the pressure in a way which is a direct threat to their physical well-being. What makes this absolutely preposterous is that that threat is being calibrated and, and sold and pushed by the president of this country in a very explicit way. Someone who, who buys into that kind of thinking, I would challenge them, why don't you go visit a mosque? Instead of, you know, we haven't seen Muslims in America surrounding churches with guns. We've seen evangelical far-right Christians surround mosques with guns. Do Muslims come out and say all evangelicals are this way? Of course not. But my concern are for the everyday, normal American Muslim citizens and new citizens and immigrants who are in this country who are going to have to deal with this toxic cocktail of white privilege, white supremacy, met with religion, religious intolerance held by a person who is consumed by his own glory. Um, I worry about those mothers. I worry about those children, Muslim kids that are getting bullied in schools. Um, college students across the country that have to go to school, perhaps wearing the scarf, and are immediately militarized uh, because of how they look, their names, their color, or their clothing.